What's going on guys? Welcome to another video. We are 16 weeks out from our show. Show's August 28th out in Michigan. Uh, we are here at Quads Gym to get in a leg... Really? Here at Quads Gym to get in a leg day. Decided to drive today because it's a little chilly outside and it's kind of been raining off and on and I just didn't want to walk through that. Especially on a leg day. I mean, that would just be miserable trying to walk home in that. Um, so we are 16 weeks out. Our plan at 16 weeks out is that uh, we are doing 25 minutes of fasted cardio a day on training day. So I already got that in this morning. And then 35 minutes of fasted cardio on rest days. Our diet, if you wanna see what the nutrition plan is, you can find that on my Instagram, just at Chase Irons. You go there, you can see in my stories what my training day meal plan looks like. Weighed in at 252 pounds this morning, 16 weeks out. I imagine we'll probably end up being about 220-ish pounds, most likely. That's where I'm expecting to kind of see things fall in line. Current cycle is 500 test, 500 NPP, 500 Primo, 500 EQ, 300 Masteron, 4 IUs of growth hormone, 20 IUs of Lantus in the morning and at night and then four IUs of Humalog pre-workout. Insulin at the start of this thing was 50 IUs of, ins of, of Lantus and then five IUs of Humalog. And I found within the last couple weeks that I started to feel a little more hypo on that dose, which I know a lot of you are like, that's not very much at all, that's a waste of time. Well, the thing is, is <laughs> it's impossible for me to use more. <laughs> it would be completely impossible for me to try to use more I'm using as much as what my body can handle at this point. And you know, if you guys are using insulin or interested in, ins in insulin, it's not a one size fits all thing. You need to use as much as you need to use because if you use too much, you're gonna have a real bad time, real bad day and possibly kill yourself. So you have to be really smart with what you're doing there. Don't just copy someone else. Don't copy what I'm doing. You know, you gotta figure things out for yourself in the long run. I got my pre-workout here. We've got Redcon 1, Total War, and Big Noise mixed with Moab and a little bit of salt and about a t about 10 grams worth of cluster dextrin. My intro workout's in my bag. Uh, we've got we've got about 50 grams of cluster dextrin in that, along with 40 grams of EAAs, five grams of creatine, five grams of glutamine and then about seven to eight grams worth of salt. We've got a big, big leg day today. I feel that legs are one of the things that I definitely need to bring up more than anything. I mean, let's be honest, I need to bring everything up. <laughs> Everything's gonna need to be brought up over time, you know? It's just, it takes time, it takes effort, and you know, it doesn't just take the drugs. You've got to put everything together day in, day out training, nutrition, everything. It all matters every single day. You know, you can't just take the drugs, train half-assed, eat half-assed. It, it all plays a very important role. I mean, guys, the, the drugs just allow you to keep growing. That's it. If you're not doing the things that are going to stimulate that growth, you're not going to get anything out of it. So. This, this is the time that matters right now. What I'm about to do. So today we've got, for our compound leg lifts, we've got some pendulum squats, along with some leg press, and then some glute drive machine, which is like hip extension. I've been kind of feeling eager to do some squats, too. We'll see, uh, we'll see how we feel and see if that, uh, is something that gets thrown in. I don't know, I just, I, I love doing squats. I love squatting, you know, just like real free bar squats. And I, I probably do them like once a month just to uh, make sure I still have that mobility, make sure I can still do them. Because like I said, I, I do really love them. A lot of people ask me how many, how many working sets do you do in a workout? How many, working sets should you give a muscle per week and what i found is that so many people are doing way too much work you know that or 
so many people are counting all of their sets as working sets and that is just it's not true you're giving yourself way more uh credit than what is due i would say a working set is an all-out set where you give everything you've got or at least at least beating what you did last time so those are my goals with the working set is to beat what i did last time and or possibly go to failure whatever however things are feeling the main goal is beat what i did last time the next goal depending on how things feel is to take it as far as possible so um but as as far as like as many sets per muscle group per week that i do i mean it's typically five to ten sets five to ten working sets for muscle group now that doesn't mean that that's all the amount of sets that i do you know in a workout that's not all the amount of sets that i do you know for the week per muscle group because there are lots of sets that aren't counted there are lots of sets that aren't counted towards that lots of work uh, warm-up sets sets that aren't taxing they're, they're sets that set you up to kill yourself because basically you know if you're doing if you, if you say you're gonna go into a leg press and do four sets of 12, most of you are going to pace yourself those first two to three sets because you know you at least want to go to failure on that last set. You wanna go all out on that last set. Now, if that's you, if that's what you're doing, then I would say you're doing one working set. That is one hard, effort the other three are just complete junk sets and i would consider them warm-up sets you know you're not going to failure but you are still kind of taxing yourself then i feel like it's a complete waste of time so yeah if you think you're doing 20 working sets per muscle group and you're feeling fatigued and run down it's probably not that you're actually doing that many workings is because think about it, if you're fatigued run down going into a workout you're going to pace yourself you're going to pace yourself on a bunch of those sets and then kill yourself on at least one of those exercises one of those working sets per exercise so just keep that in mind you know more is not better more is just more pendulum squats hurt pendulum squats are hard they feel good like the movement feels good, but man, if you've got a pendulum squat machine in your gym, I highly recommend you take advantage of it. It's amazing how little amount of weight can kill you. <laughs> like I put three plates on it and it's just so hard. So we'll see, uh, we'll see what we can accomplish today on there. Yeah, I mean, to give you guys a quick rundown of like how many exercises I plan on doing, uh, we've got the adductor machine. Um, actually, we're, we're gonna do line leg curls first, then we'll get on the adductor machine. I find when I do it in that order, if I go adductor machine before leg curls, I always feel, I feel something off in my hamstrings and my legs. I feel something weird on the, on the, like the, on the inside of my knees. And I feel like it's my adductor that's like tired and trying to pull um, and it just doesn't feel right. So, you know, through experience with that, um, I found that doing my leg curls first um, avoids that issue. So we're doing line leg curls first, two working sets, two working sets of the adduction machine. And then we'll move upstairs and go to the pendulum squat machine for two working sets. Then we'll do... Uh, the leg press for two working sets. Then I think today we've got a single leg extension, two sets per leg. Then we've got the glute drive machine. And then I feel like we've got back extensions, then leg raises for abs. And then from there we move on to some bicep work because my biceps definitely need work along with everything else. Um, some bicep work, which I do have some new Prime Fitness Cos handles, which I'm excited to check out and feel. 
They're, they're big guys, <laughs> they're big handles. I was surprised how big they are. That's what she said. So yeah, we've got those and then, uh, and then we finish up with, I believe, seated calf raise, seated or standing calf raise. So um, that's how many exercises we're looking at. Pretty much two working sets at every single one. And that's it, that's what we're doing, so. By the way, guys, this weekend, this coming weekend, I'm gonna be streaming, I'm gonna be live streaming the New York Pro show. I'm gonna be showing you guys some stuff from that live. I've already ordered the live stream, so I'll be watching that, and you guys can watch it with me. You know, here's some of my commentary. You can come in and ask questions about whatever you want, and uh, yeah, so if you're not subscribed, subscribe now. Hit the notification bell so you know when I start a live stream. By the way, for those of you that don't know, I do live streams every Monday through Friday. Typically, they start around 3 or 4 p.m. Central Standard Time and end around 5 or 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. I usually always keep them to about two hours long. And you guys can come in, ask any questions you want, and I will do my best to answer them. And most of my answers are based on my experience and what I have learned through being a one-on-one -on -one personal trainer for the last 10 years and through training myself since I was 16 years old and through my experiences of using gear for the last 11 years, almost 12 years now. So pretty rare that a question gets asked that I don't have a decent answer for, but if I don't have a decent answer for it, then I'm probably going to just make a joke. <laughs> so don't take it personal. Um, it typically means I just don't have an answer for it. Or, you know, if you're asking about SARMs or something, then yeah, I'm gonna make fun of you for it, so. Anyways, all right guys, enough dicking around. It's time to get in there and get something done. Yep. 